In this video, we'll be making the Arduino program to control your servo using your gyroscope, integrating gyroscope. We have connected to our Spartan a servo on port S0, and we have a gyroscope connected to any of these ports, and the gyroscope has to have the default address it comes with uh, from, the, from the manufacturer. We have it connected to the computer. It's very important that you have a battery connected and that the switch is on, otherwise your servo won't operate. You don't need to have your Spartan controller on the robot as long as your battery is still connected. And then when we hit the program control button, the servo will move to position, the gyro will calibrate, and then we'll be able to move that servo using the gyroscope. Let's take a look. To get started with this program, we're going to open up an example. We'll open up the Core Spartan controller, integrating gyro, we'll open up the read gyro, because that'll be pretty darn close to what we'll want to have. Here, we can just copy over the code that we'd want to use, so that's everything except for the main comments, because that header is going to change. So I'm going to say copy, I'm going to copy that over to my new program. Inside this new program, we already have include core.h, we have the Spartan controller, we have the PCB, we have the gyro, we have delayed start, all that stuff's going to be the same so far. Now right after delayed start, we're going to want to enable the servo and then set the servo to the middle position. So we'll say core.servo enable. core.s0 is where we have the servo plugged in and we want to turn it to core.on so that will enable the servo if the core uh, s0 is put to core.off then the servo will not be under power and that's the default mode when you first turn on the robot then we'll set the position to be in the middle so core.s0 will be 127. So first thing, that way when we press the PCB, it will turn on the servo to go to the middle position. That will be, it will be easy to rearrange the servo and make sure that the servo horn is in on the right spot. We'll begin serial. And then since our servo just moved, it may have bumped our gyro. So make sure our gyro is not moving. we will put in a one second delay to make sure the gyro is not moving because if your gyro is moving while you the set null routine which takes about two to three seconds is going the gyro won't know what still is and what rotation is um, it, it won't be zeroed correctly so put in that delay make sure the gyro is still we're going to make a couple of variables and these variables we can make at the beginning of the program uh, we're going to have a int servo position and we'll also have an int absolute servo position will be the position the servos or servo will be set to an absolute is going to be the get absolute value From the gyro. So down here in the void loop, the first thing we're going to want to do is to get that absolute value. So we'll say absolute equals gyro dot get absolute, and then we're going to calculate the server position. So we're going to set that server position variable. So server position equals, and this is from the intro video. If you didn't see the intro video that explains the math behind this, I highly recommend going back and looking at that first. Because that's where we came up with this equation of 127 plus absolute times 128 divided by 90. Next, we're going to set that server position. 
it's going to say core dot servo target core dot s zero servo position. So that is taking this variable and sending it to that servo. Here, we don't really need the degrees, but we could change this to be the servo position. So we could say servo position is servo position. And that's good. So we have all that, that's all looking good. Um, now there's one thing that's gonna be a little funny, but I want you to experience that first. So say upload, so upload your program to your robot. It's gonna ask where you wanna save it. Um, I'm gonna save this as controlling a servo using an integrating gyro. I'm gonna say save. And yes, I wanna replace it. So now it's uploading to my, my Spartan. Let's see what I may have goofed up. Servo, S-E-R, servo target. Let's try that again. Usually spelling mistakes are the first things to, to go wrong in a program like this. So here my PCB is flashing, so I'm going to press that. It will calibrate the gyro, and then I can move it to control the servo. You can see that the gyro and the servo are keeping that same angle. But, something funny, if I go beyond 90 degrees, the, the, the servo goes all the way back to zero. Because if I go 91 degrees, then it's trying to send the servo position 129 or 100, 256, but there are only 0 to 255 positions on the servo. So uh, position 256 is actually position 0. So that's why it goes to 0 here. If I keep going, it'll turn around again. So let's see what we can do to get rid of that. Let's take a look back at our program again and, and get rid of that part. There's a couple ways we can fix this. The way that we're going to use is we're going to say if absolute is greater than negative 90 and absolute is less than 90, then we'll update the position. If it's not, we're just going to skip over that part of code and we're going to leave the servo at the previous position it was at. So I'll upload this again. My PCB is flashing. I'm going to press that. Servo into position, calibrating, ready to go. Now, if I turn this, it doesn't go past 90. I can move it further, and it'll just kind of sit there and wait for me to get back. Last thing to do is to put a header at the top of your program. So say that this was, and it probably should have been the first thing that we did, but say who it was created by, what the program does, when you made it, when you last edited it, which would usually be today, and then save it in the folder with all your other Arduino programs.